This is a truck without an anti-lock braking system. This truck has an anti-lock braking system. You'll be seeing anti-lock brake systems on heavy vehicles more and more. The government requires anti-lock brake systems, typically called ABS, on air brake truck tractors manufactured on or after March 1st, 1997. On air brake straight trucks, buses, trailers, and converter dollies manufactured on or after March 1st, 1998. And on hydraulically braked trucks and buses manufactured on or after March 1st, 1999. This videotape is intended to answer some of the questions you might have about ABS. How do anti-lock brake systems work? How are anti-lock brake systems going to help me? How should I brake with ABS? What happens if the anti-lock brake system isn't working? This program will answer each of these questions. How do anti-lock brake systems work? An anti-lock brake system is designed to detect if a wheel is about to lock up during braking. If it senses a wheel is starting to lock up, it reduces the brake pressure briefly. Here's how it works. Sensors constantly send wheel speed information to a computer. A rapid change in wheel speed may indicate a wheel is about to lock up. If this happens, the computer sends a signal to the wheel's brakes, reducing the brake pressure. This brake pressure adjustment process continues only until lockup is no longer a threat. The system can pump the brakes much faster than a driver can. And it can adjust the pressure on each wheel or set of wheels independently. Anti-lock brake systems affect braking only when the computer recognizes a potential lockup. At all other times, the brake system will operate normally. How are anti-lock brake systems going to help me? Answering this question is easier when you understand what can happen to you without an anti-lock braking system. Without ABS, when you brake hard on slippery surfaces or even lightly under some load conditions, your wheels may lock up. And more important, when your wheels have locked up, you lose control and slide. If the front wheels lock, the vehicle will go straight ahead and you will not be able to steer. If drive wheels lock, a single vehicle may spin. A combination vehicle can jackknife. If trailer wheels lock up, the trailer may swing into an adjacent lane, especially if you are in a curve. Anti-lock braking systems help you avoid wheel lockup. The computer senses an impending lockup varies the braking pressure, and you maintain steering control. Remember, however, an anti-lock braking system will not prevent power and turning skids, and it may not shorten your stopping distance under all conditions. What if the anti-lock braking system is only on the tractor or only on the trailer? Having ABS on only the tractor, only the trailer, or even on only one axle still gives you more control over the vehicle in hard or emergency braking. When only the tractor has ABS, you can continue to steer and there is less chance of jackknifing. When only the trailer has ABS, you may have trouble controlling the tractor, but the trailer probably will not swing out. In other words, any unit with an anti-lock braking system is more stable and controllable than a unit without one. And ABS does let you stop as you always have under normal conditions. How should I brake with ABS? In general, when you drive a vehicle with ABS, you should brake as you always have. In other words, brake as if the vehicle is not equipped with ABS. Use only the braking force necessary to get the needed deceleration. As you slow, monitor your tractor and trailer and back off the brakes if necessary to safely stay in control. And brake the same way regardless of whether you have ABS on the tractor, 
the trailer, or both. There is only one exception to this procedure. If you always drive a straight truck or combination with a working anti-lock braking system on all axles, in an emergency stop, you can fully apply the brakes. The anti-lock braking system will control wheel lockup and it will help you steer through a curve or around an obstacle if necessary during a hard stop on slippery pavement. Most important of all, remember, having an anti-lock braking system on your vehicle does not mean you can drive any faster or less carefully. Nothing can guarantee a safe stop if you are driving too fast for conditions. What happens if the anti-lock brake system isn't working? The simple quick answer to this question is, without an anti-lock braking system, you still have normal brake functions. An anti-lock braking system has indicator lights similar to those in a car. There may be one in the cab and one on each trailer and converter dolly. On newer systems, the light comes on at startup, then goes out quickly. On older systems, the light could stay on until you're driving over five miles an hour. These yellow lights are malfunction indicators, not emergency warning lights. If a malfunction indicator comes on while you're on the highway, it means that the ABS may not be fully operable. The malfunction indicator does not mean that you have problems with your service brake system. However, you should get the anti-lock braking system inspected as soon as practical. Remember, if your ABS malfunctions, you still have regular brakes. Drive normally, but get the system serviced soon. As you can see, anti-lock braking systems are fast. They're safe. They're... Hold it, hold it. This all sounds good, but what about the real world? What about the real world? It's definitely the true test of any new system. A lot of anti-lock braking systems are out there on trucks, installed both before and after the government required it, and drivers who've used them have strong opinions. Hey, one night I came home uh, from work with the truck bobtailing. Um, it was a freezing rain outside. It was dark outside. It was very late night. And um, a lady passed me with, the, with the, her car when she passed me. She lost the control of the vehicle, started spinning around, and uh, I touched the brakes. I pushed the brakes on my truck, and I realized if I do not have an anti-lock brake system, I could be in a big trouble, lose the control of my truck, and uh, cause an accident or something. And this is why I was coming out of New York City one day, and uh, it was a rainy day with a heavy traffic, and the traffic was running about 50, 55, and a car creamed across the median from the other direction, and which I knew I had to stop as fast as possibly could, and. Uh, I just jammed on the brakes to try to lock it up to stop it. And amazingly enough, it didn't lock up and it didn't slide uh, any direction. It just, it just came to a stop. And uh, it, it had to have been the, you know, the ABS that stopped me because before that, before I had any kind of ABS, you know, I have slid in different directions and, and got in trouble. And I think this protected me and saved me from doing that. I pull bulk tank and without ABS brakes, you were constantly watching the trailer anytime you had the hard brake. Uh, the trailer would skip out on the back and and they transferred it over to ABS brakes and and what a difference it it just it's all the difference in the world I would recommend them to anybody now let's summarize how do any lock brake systems work there are sensors at the wheels telling a computer if wheel speed is changing working faster than a driver can the computer varies brake pressure as needed to prevent wheel lockup how are any lock brake systems going to help me? Under normal conditions, you will not use your anti-lock braking system. Your truck will stop as it always has stopped. If the computer detects an impending lockup, however, it will vary the brake pressure. Whether you have the system on both the tractor and trailer, or on only one of them, ABS will help you maintain control of your vehicle. How should I brake with ABS? Brake as you always have. Let the anti-lock braking system do the work. What happens if the anti-lock brake system isn't working? If there is a malfunction, drive normally. Your regular brakes will still work, but get your system serviced as soon as practical. Most important of all, remember, 
Anti-lock braking systems do not mean you can drive faster, follow more closely, or drive any less carefully. And they will not compensate for bad brakes or poor brake maintenance. A vehicle's best safety feature is still a safe driver. An anti-lock braking system will make your job safer. In an emergency stopping situation, it could keep you from being involved in a serious accident.